everyone and welcome to the vlog. We are on the farm right now and look at the view out here. We got some cattle over there and some crops over here and a house over here. So we're having fun out here. I'll show you, I'll probably tour the farm for you guys because I want you to see the main old barns and stuff. We have 100 year old stuff out here. House is right there. There's an old shack there. And you can see the original house. Here's the barn. Another interesting addition to the farm is their dog, Buddy. Really, he's too hyper to herd any cattle. He's really cool. I think he, it's really hard to explain, but he has like the most energy out of probably any dog I met. He can run for like hours and it feels like it's almost like he can't hear you because he's always so excited and it's really weird. And I'd like to show you some cool geography stuff about this place. Right here, there's a railroad and there's another railroad on the other side of the house. So we're in between two railroads very closely. So it's quite interesting. And so today we're gonna to be heading into town and there is a railroad museum. If you have been with us long enough to see us go to the Orange Empire Museum in Hemet, California, you know that we saw a lot of old trains. Well, this is a little different. We're gonna be seeing some model trains. So it's not a real train museum, I don't think, but we'll have to find out because I don't know anything about this place either. So thank you guys so much for joining us today and let's get a move on. So guys, if you're wondering uh, what I've been doing, I took a day off from vlogging and just was able to hang out with families, my family and their and the rest of the relatives, so that was nice. Uh, as you can tell, I was I was meaning to upload every day, but um, out here in the country, we have a couple issues. We, we don't they don't upload out here a lot, so the Wi-Fi isn't used to doing it. And anywhere I've been trying, is have trouble with uploading. Just to, I guess the connection out here, and I've been able to do it. It just takes three hours. So I'm, I'm doing my best, guys. Just bear with me. That's what's going on. We're going to head to the Railroad Museum. It's going to be about a 40-minute drive. I'm going to get some uh, footage for you. And it's looking very nice out here. Eyes in the sky, gazing far into the night. I raise my hand to the fire. But it's no use, because you can't stop it from shining through. It's true. Okay, I guess this is it. Uh -huh, I got some old railroad signs out here. So I'm gonna show you what's in here. Again, I say this a lot, I have never been here. All right, let's go inside. Oh. Look at this drone shot. No, just kidding, this is actually a miniature. Um, Got a train on its way, it looks like. That's it? Very detailed. There's a train. It's a Santa Fe. That's a nice miniature train. You'll see how detailed this is. Well, there's your view. Supposedly, they got a couple trains running today. There's another one over there. It's a long one. There's one down there. And there's probably one over here somewhere behind there. So they have a lot of stuff here. So far, I'm pretty impressed. I'm excited to go down and see all of these ones. See how elaborate this set is. A lot of stuff to see. Here's one. It's nice. We got a steam engine, Union Pacific. A lot of cargo. 
Yeah, so this is a little different than the Orange Empire Museum that you've seen in one of our videos. This is actual miniatures. Oh, so really? you see how smart they are? This train's coming. They've pre-dated that that's coming and they know that this train needs to stop. There's a whole office over in that corner that is able to navigate the trains through the set. And it's really fascinating how they're able to do that. This is just like a whole set and they have offices and stuff that's deciding whether the train should go or not. We are headed downstairs to I guess a city. We got a yard here. Over here a very detailed old city. Phillips 66 station. If you look right down that main street. Actually, that's a mirror that we're seeing. You can tell that it actually, you can see me over there. It's funny. Most of it's mirrors. This mirror looks a little more interesting, but... Man, you got a, there's a lot of good stuff here. There's lined up cars waiting to go somewhere, I guess. We got a billboard, what does it say? Nothing says... I'm sorry, like a 20 buck banquet. Well, I'm still gonna have to spend money. See what the other side says. Oh, they're putting this up. Looks like there's a truck yard here. Yeah, some nice trucks. Over here, you got a logging area. So they've thrown the logs into the lake and they'll be shipped up into that building, turned into sawdust, and then made into lumber. And this is the lumber yard. There's two of these, actually. The other one you saw probably at the beginning. Here's a DHL truck. There he goes. Here we got a nice bridge structure. Let me attempt to get a view of that. And this is probably the biggest bridge of the display. Nice. Nice wilderness area here. It's a nice mill there. Got a river, a bridge, and a nice tunnel. I'm going to try to find you guys a train. If you can see it, here's a train. Steam engine going over that bridge. Look at this, some nice mills. Hopefully we get a train up close. <laughs> There's a dinosaur. If you got the right angle, you would actually, could believe that this is actually real. In fact, I'm gonna do a video montage, so. Oh, there's a train. It's a long train, too. This will be the last site before I start the montage. This is going to be your highest structure. It's a huge mountain. And at the foot of it, there are a lot of tracks running here. You got this bridge, that bridge, and then way up here, there's actually a train running right there. So, over here we have a... A nice plant over here, a lot of different plants for different manufacturing.
Hope you guys enjoyed. We're gonna exit the museum now. I'm gonna charge up my camera and we'll see what else there is to do today on the farm. But I am, oh yeah, wait one second. I'll meet you at the door. Outside of all these miniatures, we have this Burlington Root caboose. I'm gonna head in. Now the last time we were in an old train, we were in California at the Orange Empire train museum and now we're in a miniature train museum in an old caboose. Look at that. Now they didn't have anywhere near uh, this at the Orange Empire. It was more Pullman cars, sleeper cars. It says don't open the windows. It does not say that we cannot climb this. I'm up here. Hopefully get Okay, we're at the top. A good view. That's pretty cool. Trainmen only. Hey, we are down and back at the beds. I guess this is all the caboose really is, just a VIP type suite. I got a sink here. Not gonna try that, but nice desk. A lamp. Pretty nice. Alright, let's head out. Hey guys, it's the Hockey Bros. Let me explain to you what's going on. I know I am in my house right now. That's probably not what you guys think, but while I've been uploading the past two videos, I have been home. I want to let you know that I was I'm home safely. I took a break for a couple days because the Wi-Fi situation got to the point I was just thinking, well, we can wait and upload them at home and I can give you kind of more in-depth good uh, editing. So thank you guys so much for watching. I would like to announce that tomorrow's vlog is pretty much like a narration because oh, I have so many clips that are, it would have been so like odd and you would have been one place and then another and then the next. So I'm just gonna, you'll see tomorrow's layout. I think it's pretty cool. Hope you guys enjoy it too. I also have another video after that. Well, it'll be like a drone montage of the farm. And that one's a pretty cool one too. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, remember to subscribe, turn on notifications, because the road trip, as far as you guys know, and as far as YouTube knows, is not over yet. The road trip is still on for you guys. So keep watching, more vlogs ahead. Thank you guys for being here every day, single day. And we'll see you tomorrow. That's how you travel, hockey bar style. Peace out.